Jeff Brom has left Purdue to be the new head coach at Louisville. That's right. This has happened since the last time that we spoke. Uh, it makes all the sense in the world for Jeff Brom. I think that he got Purdue to the highest levels that he could. He he hit the ceiling at Purdue. Now, the question is, does Purdue want to do more? And if you want to do more, then you have to invest more. And obviously, they've got this new Big Ten contract that's coming in, etc. Uh, the media rights deal, it's going to provide a lot more funding, etc. That's You'll find out quickly with this hire. Do they go and make bigger names say no, or do they just roll with what they typically have done? Hire from the G5. Do they go and get Tyson Helton uh, to come up behind Braum again, you know, et cetera, because Helton came in after Braum at uh, Western Kentucky. And it was, and Mike Sanford was there for two years, but you get the point, right? Tyson Helton's really good. Uh, do they go and get uh, Jim Leonard, of course, that was the former DC at Wisconsin? We're going to talk more about him in just a minute. Do you go and get uh, let's see, I've, I've seen several that list Chris Kleiman. I mean, that is a Big 12 championship winning coach, a former FCS uh, multi-national title winning coach. Do you pony up enough money to make him say no? That's going to be tricky. Uh, Kevin Sumlin, he's a Purdue grad. Has he sat out long enough? Do you think he's uh, maybe adapted to the modern college football landscape enough to be able to go and be successful at Purdue? Uh, is that Do you want to go the retread route? Right? Do you do that? Do you do Dan Mullen? He showed at Mississippi State he could win. He showed at Florida he could win. His issue was uh, the culture of the locker room, and that thing just got away from him there. Do you think sitting out for a year and doing TV uh, has maybe helped him change enough to uh, to be successful here? Uh, Brian Hartline, a guy that has not been a coordinator, but is obviously one of the best recruiters in the country at Ohio State. He has seen inside the machine that is in Columbus. Do you want to try and bring him over and and attempt to replicate a little bit of what Ohio State does? There's a lot of different directions that Purdue can go. I'm I'm very curious. At going back to Jeff Brom, it, it makes sense at this point. One, Louisville, no, I don't believe that Louisville is as good of a job as Purdue right now, and that has everything to do with the conference. Uh, but at the same time, if you want to win, then going to Louisville does make sense. Like, I don't think you're going to be able to make as much money at Louisville, so I guess it just depends on what your definition of uh, the better job is. Is it the one where you can win more, or is it the one where you earn more money and you have more resources? Like, Louisville has plenty of resources. They can obviously recruit there. Like, it's it's in a good spot of the world to be able to get good recruits. Jeff Brom is going to be successful there, I believe. And when you're going back and forth about which one is the better job, it really just depends on who you talk to. That Really, that's, that's just about it. So, uh, cheers to Jeff Brom for uh, for heading to Louisville. Uh, cheers to a bit of a reset at Purdue. I think they hit a, a bit of a peak this year with the Big Ten uh, Championship, or the Big Ten West Championship, and then, of course, appearing in the title game. I think that was a big, big deal for them. Uh, props to Purdue. I can't wait to see what ends up happening here. Props to Louisville. Uh, the, the boy comes home. The homecoming is complete. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.